Hey everybody, I just want to show you my DIY deodorant. And while I'm at it, um, first of all, well, I'm not sure what your plans are going to be for today, but whatever you do, be safe, okay? Um, this is a DIY that I made, and it's, I pretty much took a canister so that I already had laying around, washed it out really well, roll it, you know, put in some hot water, to get off the bacteria, and then I put my DIY in. So that's what you're looking at. This is my DIY. And it has, as you can see, it has like a grainy texture because I put cinnamon, I put lemon peel and other things in it. But um, it's around that time where we sweat. So I wanted to make sure I made a really good deodorant for myself. Baking soda can be really harsh on your skin, so I didn't really put much baking soda in I used something else. You can also use cornstarch. But yeah, um, whatever your plans are today, I just wanted to let you know, first of all, I hope you don't feel alone. Anyone who does feel alone, know that God is here. And it be, because you're still here, you matter. And I just wanted you to know that we care. I care. Many people may not care about you, or you may feel that way, but there are people that care about other people, and I'm one of those people. And I just want you to know that God loves you most of all. And today, we have a choice to make this day count. So be the light you want to be within yourself, but also the light you want to see within the world. And it's going to come down to choices. And we can't be emotionally led because, you know, an emotional person can be very unstable and make a lot of bad choices. And we have to live with those consequences. And those we hurt also have to be um, around us when we hurt them and have to deal with us. So it's, it's, a, it's a ripple effect, you know. So we're going to hurt each other even when we don't mean to. But it's up to us to say the things we need to say to make things right, to fall down and get back up because that's what being human is about and most of all keeping our faith in the Lord because without him we have nothing this world exists because of him so I just want to say to you guys go forth whatever your plans are today have a good day I pray you do feel safe you are safe I pray that you have what you need and if you have a little that you have enough and if you have more thank God and if you have anything thank God and I pray you have more and I also pray that you feel loved. And if you need to be loved, go out and do something for someone else. If you feel discouraged, go out and do something for someone else. If you feel the need to, um, to just, just have that part of you that wants to just sink in because of the times in his heart, reach out to God, pray to him, but also reach out to somebody else. Because I bet you, I guarantee you, someone else is hurting too or can relate to you. So we have a choice, and that's every single day. Will we make it our day count? Will we settle in and have a pity party? I know I've been there at times, and it, it doesn't last too long, but I know when, it, when I have them, it's not beneficial. So I'm saying to you as a person who can relate, be the light you want to be for yourself, but be the light you want to see in this world. Go out and make a difference. Make an impact. Call somebody. Be an encouragement, you know? And again... To thank God for the privileges that we have upon this earth, even though it may not be always clear, there's a lot of unjust things going on, a lot of hurting, and it makes me angry, but God is just, and he will have the last say. Keep your heads up, guy. My black people, keep your heads up. My Caucasian people, keep your heads up that are on our side. Everyone who's been hurt, who's been mistreated, keep your heads up. God is for us. I'm going to eat this sandwich, one of my burgers. And again, you guys, have a wonderful day. All right? Love you. Peace.